Hi, so in today's video is a little guide to Peppa Pig World, mainly so you can see what is here, but also how the park is running with coronavirus precautions. So currently with COVID, you must pre-book your tickets. This is obviously to limit capacity. We managed to book our tickets just a couple of days in advance, but looking at its August calendar, you will probably want to book ahead a little bit further. It's located in Southampton with lots of hotel choices and affordable options too. We like to stay in the Premier Room, which is only five minutes away. Children under one metre when wearing shoes and wheelchair dependent guests go free. For a little comparison, my three year old is under one metre, so goes for free and can ride on many of the rides here. There is only one ride in Peppa Pig World that has a height restriction, but other theme parks, once you hit three years old, you pay, but they have, in my opinion, much stricter height restrictions for their rides. Parking is also free, which is another great thing I love about this park. And tickets cost $35.75 per person online. And for the four of us, with one of them going free, it was $104.75. So I wanted to cover a little bit on COVID and the park as I'm sure it's a concern for many parents. They have barriers between lines with a mesh covering so you are separated from each line. There are markings on the floor to measure out your social distancing, hand sanitizers around the park to help yourself to, and face coverings to be worn when ordering food inside and going inside the gift shops. We are still predominantly doing outdoor walks and trails so this was a real treat for us to come here and we felt really really safe. So now I'm going to take you on a tour of all the rides. First up we have Daddy Pig's car ride. This is a favourite as you can see so many of Peppa Pig's character friends. So if your children loves Peppa and all her friends then this is a great one to do. So very quickly on why we returned to Peppa Pig World, my daughter was three and a half when we started coming here and she still enjoys it now but obviously we've got another one to consider and he loves Peppa Pig and we first started visiting with him when he was under a year old. Now the signs do say no height restrictions but advice that the rides in Peppa Pig World are unsuitable for a child under 12 months old. However, it is only advice and you are not stopped. Now, from my opinion, um, in comparison to rides that a child under one can do in Florida um, I've got no concerns whatsoever putting my child on these rides and hopefully you'll agree when you see the videos Here we have Grandpa Pig's little train which circles around the town hall. One thing I would say about all the rides is they're all really close by so if your child is able to walk then I don't think they'll find it too exhausting walking from one ride to the other. Then we have Grampy Rabbit Sailing Club. This is one of two rides that were added a couple of years ago. Your little ones can sail away with Grampy Rabbit, join Peppa and the gang on a splashing spinning boating adventure at Grampy Rabbit Sailing Club. Due to COVID, you can't unfortunately meet Peppa and George characters up close, but you can see them on the Queen's Flying Coach ride, which the kids liked and entertained them while we were in the queues. And here you have the Queen's Flying Coach ride, which is a carriage treetop monorail ride where you can enjoy the best views of the park.
your little ones can go into Peppa Pig's house and have a great photo opportunity with Mummy and Daddy Pig, Peppa and George. And here we have Peppa's Big Balloon Ride, another ride with great views. Next up we have George's Dinosaur Adventure. I think this has got to be everyone's favourite. This is the only ride in Peppa Pig World which has a height restriction and that is children under 0.85 metres cannot ride. This was the first year our little one could ride on it. Uh, children under 1.1 metres must ride in the front seat accompanied by a responsible adult and children over, over 1.1 metre must ride alone on the rear seat but it's certainly a popular ride. Then we've got another two rides with great views. We have Miss Rabbit's helicopter ride and we've also got Windy Castle ride. Even as an adult, this one makes me feel a little bit dizzy, but it's great fun. Then we have Grandpa Pig's boat trip. It's a lovely little ride, a little bit bumpy, but good fun. And I think this might have happened the second time now, but we had actual real life ducks swimming in the water. They did not want to move and did not seem fussed by the moving boats. So I believe the soft play area is closed currently because of the coronavirus but Mr Potato Head's playground was open and also muddy puddles which the kids absolutely loved um, and there's also another sort of splash water area over in Portons Park which is called Water Kingdom but the kids had lots of fun in muddy puddles. This was a lovely new wildlife area that we hadn't seen before. It does seem that the Peppa Pig world does seem to be keep expanding and there looks like there's gonna be new rides coming soon. But this was a really lovely addition, especially if your little ones love animals. So there are a couple of places to eat inside Peppa Pig's World and then just as you exit and you enter into the main theme park, you've also got food options there. We do tend to hit the Queen's Kitchen um, and go for pizza, hot dog and sausage rolls, but there's also Daddy Pig's Big Tummy Cafe and you've got burrito options too. So we stayed over in Peppa Pig World from about 10 a.m. to 2.30 in the afternoon and then we moved over to the rest of Portons Park. I didn't film too much over here but hopefully these clips will give you a little idea on what there is to offer. There were ride options for both my seven-year-old and my three-year-old and my eldest got the opportunity to do her first big log ride. I hope the video has been useful. I do highly recommend Peppa Pig World, particularly if you have children that are under one meter and there is plenty for older ones to enjoy too. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like family and mummy related content, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you for watching.